dear students and welcome to our practical. Today's practical is going to be something very interesting for small kids and that is about how to dig or find fossils. Fossils are basically the dead materials or the objects that were covered due to rock, sand during the olden times and then hardened and formed into such structures. This is an example of a fossil which is as a toy available at the market very easily. But what if you people would like to try to make as such things in home? It is very easy to do so and that is only using simple materials and they are using proper amount of water some flour you can use the cooking flour or corn flour with it some mixture of these two flours together that is corn flour and the wheat flour or any other common cake making flour with water once it has come into the structure of a dove what you can do is put any toy piece inside it and then cover it with it and let it to dry in the sun for about three to four days after drying it into the sun for three to four days you can find the structure to be something hard as such we have got over here i haven't made that practical yet but in future most probably i will be trying to do it now my aim is to open this thing which is similarly made using the same material that is corn flour with the other flour and some equal amount of water and the toy was kept behind here we are using dinosaur fossil so i will be giving one to my student so that she can do it for us while i will be doing the second one what you need to do is we'll just open and see what are the materials present inside this make sure you have a paper or something kept down because it will prepare and create a lot of mess also As you can see here, it is like a soap structure, a soap bar and I have got two instruments. Similarly, the same instruments were given to my student also in the second pair where we have to dig and then find out what is the toy inside. So one acts as a scraper because you can have the zigzag motion in here. It is acting as a scraper as you can see here like that. And the second one is just to remove any axis. So similarly, just to scrape out hard pieces after you have removed it. So what? let us see how does this happen and how does it look like and what shape we find inside. As you can see here, we were halfway in digging procedure and you can see here, this is the tail. We could find something which is pointed from two sides. I could be there. there are two dinosaurs or two tails. And for my student, you can see over here that there is only one tail to be seen. Now we don't know where it is so let me do it more further and show you how does it look like. As you can see here, I'm just trying to excavate and I can find small object over here. I don't know, it looks like an alien, not like a dinosaur to me. But as you can see here, this is for my student. It came out and it also looks like it, it is a dinosaur. And this is the shape we found. What you can do is wash it and then it actually glows in the light. It's a glowing dinosaur. Similarly, let me try in here. Ah, okay, finally it came out. This doesn't look like a dinosaur. It looks more like an alien to me. And Oh, no, no, no. This is a flying dinosaur. So this is a flying dinosaur. That's why it's like this. And you can also glows in the night. As I can see here, it glows. You can try to see in there. I don't know whether it's visible in the camera. But this thing. Uh, the only thing I'm sad is in such a big thing I could find only a very small one. While in the small egg I could find such a big dinosaur. So not the main idea behind this practical is that you can prepare the same type of structure at home and put in toys and give it to your kids as they will enjoy digging it and find. To give them the digging thing you can give them any small safe plastic toys which is at the you can be used for the above three years of age and then easily available in the stores at a very low cost and they can use it for digging it. Thanks for watching the video.